Okay, let's talk about SAT math and specifically how to get a great score on the SAT. So this is not going to be a totally all-inclusive, super secret video with all types of strategies and tips and whatnot, any kind of secret formula, because if you're looking for that, then I'm going to tell you right now that uh, it doesn't really exist. Okay, What I'm going to be getting into is what are the fundamental things that um, anyone taking an SAT should have as part of their game plan in order to get a great score. So my background as a math teacher, taught sixth grade all the way through college, um, and I've tutored many years, so I'm very familiar with SAT, ACT exams. So I want to pass on what I've seen and hopefully will help you out. If you're new to my channel, I have a ton of uh, math videos, um, algebra, geometry, all the kind of stuff that you're going to uh, want to know uh, for the SAT. So if you like my teaching style, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. Also, I have a specific SAT math prep course. I'll leave the link in the description, uh, description of this video just in case you're interested. So let's get into it. SAT math, how do you get a great score? Well, first of all, you need to know what kind of math is going to be on the SAT, right? That's probably a good starting point. And I like to kind of summarize it this way. So you got algebra one, geometry, algebra 2, and then pre-calc, pre-calculus, and trig, right? So these are kind of the core courses that most people take um, in high school mathematics, especially if you're college, college prep. So you definitely need to be super strong in al through algebra 1 through algebra 2, okay? So algebra 2, geometry, algebra 1. And Algebra 1 is actually incorporated in Algebra 2, so these two courses here are going to be critical. So you really, really have to know them strong. And so this kind of gets to my first step on how to get a great score, is really you need to know the math, right? You're going to know the math. Now, what do I mean by that? It should be kind of like obvious, right? Well, know the math. Yeah, I took those math courses, right? A lot of students will say, well, I took the math courses, so I know the math. That's not necessarily true. Just because you took the math courses doesn't mean that you remember the math or you're ha you know all that math is fresh in your head or you could pull out these skills at any one time. You really need to go back and, one, you need to first know the math. It means you study, successfully learn and understand the concepts, have those skills, and then you have to also review. Okay, Keep those skills fresh and you know, um, have that kind of retention. That's a, that's a huge part of doing well on, the, on SAT, okay? It's just knowing all this mathematics and keeping your skill set up by review, doing problems, you know, so your retention doesn't, you know, deteriorate over time. Because if you don't use this math, you're going to forget it, okay? So that is, this is right here, knowing the math, reviewing the math, retaining the math, is probably the single most in, uh, uh, important thing that you can do for the SAT, all right. Now, beyond that, you definitely want to um, uh, use one of those kind of study programs, a study guide, a study book. You know, you need to be taking practice tests, understanding um, the test format, the type of questions, different strategies and tactics, time management. All that is really important as well for the SAT. But it doesn't make sense to, you know, be taking a bunch of practice tests if you're struggling with just the fundamentals of, of of the math, right? If you don't know how to solve a quadratic equation, if you don't understand how to find an area of a sector or a factor of polynomial or, or whatever the case might be, then, you know, when you're looking at a particular question, whatever strategy you're going to be using is effectively going to be guessing if you don't understand the math, okay? So it's kind of like that 20-80 rule, right? So 20% of all the things you can do to study for the SAT is going to be the most important. It's going to kind of uh, impact 80% of your score. And to me, it's really, you know, going th going through reviewing all the things that you learned in these courses and doing practice problems. Not SAT uh, uh, book problems, but doing some of the problems from, you know, maybe you have your, um, some of your old homework, uh, your, your, your notes or whatnot. If you don't have that, then you want to, you want to find a program, something like I offer that has complete full lessons, video exercises, the whole nine yards, something that you can, you can solve a bunch of problems just to keep your skill set high. So when you actually do take your, you know, do practice SAT test problems, 
that the math makes sense to you, okay? But you do need a strong, comprehensive program of study. Okay, so that's the second thing. So got to know the math, review. The, third, uh, the second thing is you, you do need some sort of formal study program, a book at a minimum uh, that has practice exams uh, in it. And then the third thing is you need time, okay? So how do you get a great score? Well, the, all this stuff takes time, right? It takes time to go through all these courses. It takes time to study. It takes time and effort, all right? Probably and there's another word there. You Let's go put that in there. You could have a bunch of time, but if you don't put in the effort, then you kind of wasted your time. You could have a short period of time, let's say a couple months, you could put a maximum amount of effort in there and really do better than someone who had two years to study for it. So, but the more time you have coupled with a lot of effort, you know, by, by kind of going through learning the math, retaining the math skills, doing lots of practice proms, you know, looking at um, improving, taking tests, taking tests again, this is the way you're going to grind out and get a top score, top SAT math score. I will say that I don't think that nothing's guaranteed when it comes to the SAT or ACT because some people are just maybe naturally, you know, stronger in math or uh, better test taker than, than, than others. So if you, you know, if you're kind of like the average person, pretty good, you know, in math, pretty good at taking tests. If you grind it out, you know, and you keep working this kind of program of study, you know, going back and bolstering your math skills, doing lots of um, practice tests, you know, just get like a real direct full kind of attack, you know, on the SAT, Sp not wasting your time, studying consistently, studying a few times a week on the weekend, you will get a very good score on the SAT, okay? It's kind of like, you know, you would have to kind of really just have a bad, bad test day to, to not even do respectively well, okay? So for sure, um, you know, most of you out there can get the score that you need for, for the, you know, most of the colleges that you're probably targeting. If you're talking, like, hey, you want to get into MIT, you know, Harvard and those type of things, you know, this is still the formula you need to use, but it get, becomes extremely competitive because you're, you're, you know, competing with a lot of people. So you really have to even just, you know, you know, put that much more into it. But it is possible, absolutely possible. And as a math teacher, I've seen uh, students really, you know, go from struggling in math to doing very well, you know, having very good test scores. So sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. I've seen students that are, do well in class, you know, they get good, have good grades in their, in their, you know, their algebra classes in school, but, you know, don't do as well as other t uh, students who... We're just able to kind of reason out the questions, um, you know, on the actual exam. So it kind of all washes out. Remember, though, when you're talking about your college, it is going to be a balance of GPA plus your SAT or ACT scores, right? Plus your actually your extra uh, curricular activity. So your GPA plays important as well. So you can't be like, well, I'll just do great on the SAT, then, <laughs> you know, not do so well in my, my courses of study. No, you got to do well here, too. You know, your GPA counts for a huge portion of it as do your standardized tests, your SAT or ACT, that type of thing. And then extracurricular, whether you play sports, you're in the club, all that stuff. So you should be doing all of that, you know, to increase, you know, um, the chances to get into a particular school. But in terms of the math, over many, many years of experience, you got to have a plan, okay? And I don't know how you learn math, but most people, uh, you know, learn math from a teacher. That's why we have actual teachers teach math, right? You know, it's not enough just to go to the library and get a big gigantic geometry book, a big algebra two book. You can just read through it. That's pretty good. But a teacher is a shortcut, right? So get with a teacher. You know, if you can find a tutor, they're expensive. That's one way. Or you might want to check out a program like I offer. Again, I'll leave the link in the description of this video if you want to check my uh, SAT math course out. But let's go ahead and call it a wrap here. The first thing I hope you uh, consider doing is subscribing to my channel because I'm posting all the time. I already have hundreds of videos that will benefit uh, you, algebra videos, geometry videos, other type of topics, math topics, test taking strategies, that type of stuff. So hopefully you consider subscribing. Um, if you enjoyed this video, got something out of it, would definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. Let me know how um, things are going for you in terms of your SAT preparation. Maybe you have a specific question. Um, I try to read um, as many comments as possible. 
but uh, it's, you know, it's the way I, the, your feedback is the way I know how I'm doing, how I can improve. It gives me other ideas on um, uh, future videos. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the SAT. It's critically important this stage in your life. Uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and have a great day.